Hey everybody, it's Dan here from Action eCommerce. I've been getting plenty of questions from people on how to go about configuring different shipping methods. Now, I understand every store owner has a different approach to this, but for this example, I want to show you how to configure price-based shipping. So you might ask, what is price-based shipping? Well, Price-based shipping is the amount charged for shipping based on the cart value or the cart order. Here is an example right here of what we will be configuring. So for this configuration, what we're going to do is for orders under $25, we're going to charge $8.95. And for orders $25 to $50, we're going to charge $9.95. And then from orders 50, 01 to 75, we're going to charge 1295 and then go through the rest of the list and configure all of these shipping methods. Now, the reason why this shipping method remains popular is because of the psychological thought of the buyer. This entices the buyer to add additional items to the cart while slightly increasing the shipping rate based on the price ranges. So a typical thought would be once I add my first item to the cart, let's say it's a $30 item, well it's only $1 more in shipping if I reach the $50 mark threshold. This can increase the cart revenue by nearly double. Let's go ahead to our storefront first. As you can see here in my cart, I do not have any shipping methods available or configured right now. Let's jump to the WordPress backend. So for this shipping method, we'll be using the table rate shipping plugin. Unfortunately, this shipping configuration can't be used with the out of box standard WooCommerce shipping methods. As you might know, WooCommerce does include some very basic shipping methods. For this, we're gonna navigate to WooCommerce and shipping zones. For the first zone we're gonna configure, we're gonna just make this a generic zone. So we'll name this flat rate. And then for this, we're going to configure it for the United States only. We'll go ahead and we'll add shipping zone. And then once your shipping zone is added, you'll see it pop up right here. Go ahead and click configure shipping methods. Now we don't have any methods configured yet. Let's go ahead and click table rates and click add to zone. Let's click table rates right here. We're going to rename this anyways. So for table rates, we're going to rename this to flat rate shipping. This is the title that's going to pop up on the front right here once you have it added. Tax status underneath. This is basically if the shipping prices are taxable or non-taxable. Typically the shipping prices are not taxable. We're going to click none on here. Handling fee, minimum shipping cost, we're going to ignore those right here. Now, here's where we get into the nitty gritty for rates. Our calculation type is going to be per order. Don't let the other items confuse you on here. So this is going to be based on the entire order of the cart. Let's say it's $25 or let's say it's $40, then it'll fit into the $9.95 price range. Back to our store. So let's go ahead and start adding our shipping rates. For condition, we want to base this on price. And for our first min max, we're going to enter zero and $25. This row cost is going to be $8.95. We'll go ahead and enter that right now. For the second row, we're going to enter the same amount. So price, we're going to go 2501 to 50. And then for this, we're going to do $9.95. Let's go ahead and add another row. We're going to select price again. We're going to go $50.01 to $75. I'm going to fill the rest of these in really quick here. So $50.01 to $75, our price is $12.95. And then for $75.01, to 100, we are going to do 14.95. Now for 100.01 to 
150, we're going to do 1795. For 151, 150, 0, 1, to 170, I believe it was 200, we're going to do 1895. And then this one will be 200 and above. And this is 1995. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click Save Shipping Method. And for this, we also don't need to worry about shipping classes, as this is calculated based on the entire order and where the buyer is purchasing or shipping the item to. So let's head to our storefront here. So in the beginning, we had $30, but we had no shipping methods configured. Now for this shipping method in the $30 price range, we should fall into the 995. Let's go ahead and update our cart. And then from here, let's select a state. We'll just do California. And then as you see, our flat rate shipping 995 does populate correctly. Now let's go ahead and double this to 30 which would bring in $60 in total, and it should charge $12.95 based on this order. If we go ahead and click Update Cart, we should see $12.95 for flat rate shipping. So just to recap here, our cart totals price range is going to fall into many of these different categories. And for these different categories, our row cost is going to be based on $8.95, $9.95, $12.95 within these ranges. Now, if we were to select item cost, this would be different because then we would select item count on here. And it's a whole different shipping method, but I'll dig into it on the next video.